what's up ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? It is me, Lasty here. Welcome today to a brand new episode of the FIFA 23 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. Episode number 138 today. How are you? Happy Sunday. Hope you're all doing all right. Hope you're having a nice chill Sunday. And um, well, in FIFA terms, I hope you're kind of like just enjoying the, the, the new promo uh, and Moving on from probably not packing any team of the years and stuff. Uh, if you do enjoy today, do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up button. We're always super generous on Sunday. So if you could just keep that one going, that'd be amazing. 2,000, maybe even 3,000 likes would be unbelievable. Subscribe as well to the channel if you're new. Um, do you know what? I look at this team every time and I'm like, I think I'm doing all right for a road to glory, you know. Uh, team of the year really did change my squad. Uh, not in the fact that we were able to pack like a crazy blue. Obviously, we packed Bremer and we packed Cancelo. But um, just bringing in literally Pogba, Alonso, Cruyff, Drogba, Eto, Bale. All of those players into the squad around that sort of two-week period. Kind of nuts, really, isn't it? Um, so I know yesterday was kind of like titled... One last chance at team of the year or something like that. But uh, I actually decided in my infinite wisdom to go for one last final send throughout this episode for team of the year. Uh, obviously, I'm a, I'm a little bit ahead on, on the content as uh, as yesterday I was uh, away all, the, all day for uh, for Cambridge away. And, uh, and I'm only just back today to... Uh, to crack on with like the the rest of weekend league and and all of that sort of stuff. So uh, over the next couple of days, you'll see weekend league gameplay. I also need to kind of stay ahead a little bit as well because I've got Burnley on Tuesday night. That is an FA Cup replay uh, and a four and a half hour drive and back again on on Tuesday uh, into Wednesday is going to be a bit of a bit of a tough one. So uh, yeah, got got to keep ahead on the video so I don't miss a day and all of that stuff as well. Uh, so yeah, bear with me for a few days. I've got a lot of travel in the next sort of week, um, considering Cambridge was a short one, but then, uh, you know, Burnley away. And then next Tuesday night, I've got like Bristol Rovers away. It's, it's just a lot of, a lot of Tuesday night traveling, which is, uh, it's fun and I love it, but, um, yeah, it, it's a little bit difficult when you're trying to keep the the street going of daily videos so uh just bear with me and let's just hope my throat and and and, and stuff and my voice get through all of that shall we anyway i've been waffling we've been packing some half decent stuff from some of the I, again once again i just kept doing the the premier league premium upgrades i just wanted to hit that de bruyne or harland or or van dyke uh they were the ones that kind of interested me the most um and with some of the, uh, I got like a duplicate untradeable Vardy. So with that, I then did like an 83 plus. Decided to go down the route of the defenders. Because, again, like if I pack any of the defenders. So uh, if you pack Militao, amazing. Or Courtois, decent. Uh, if you pack Hakimi, uh, well, I'm halfway through or I'm a part of the way through Ramos SBC. So that would be a great link. If I pack Teo Hernandez, well, that is my left back sorted, and I could switch uh, Cancelo over to right back. Uh, and then if I pack Van Dyke, then that's just like my perfect centre back, isn't it? So uh, I went down the route of an 85 plus triple defenders pack rather than anything else. Um, and we'll get to it in just a moment. Oh, walkout time. Italian centre mid from PSG. Yeah, nice. Verratti will take that, an 87. All day long. <clears throat> so. Uh, any duplicates, I basically just shove into other SBCs, whether it be little upgrades or whatnot. Uh, nothing really, no boards or anything from this Prem one. Sometimes they'll give you a walkout and something good. Sometimes you'll get literally nothing. Um, and then we got, what did we get here? Araujo, Araujo, as the commentators called him recently. I say that every time. Uh, and then here's my 85 plus defenders pack. What's it going to give me? Oh, inform German. Center back from, is that Freiburg? Uh, Ginter, uh, 85. Um, so that's not great. But we do get a Trent in there. So it's 85, 86, 87 uh, in Trap as well. And actually, that gave me high enough rated players to get the next part of Sergio Ramos done. Um, because I'm committed, I thought, hey, you know what? If once we get the fodder, I've got like just over two weeks to get this man done. And hopefully the future stars... 
swap stuff will be out by then. So maybe I'll have a, a big pack or something to, to help me get fodder to get Ramos done because otherwise we're kind of kind of screwed really, aren't we? Um, I've got an 87 and an 88 rated squad to do. Now that's not cheap and I'm broke. So we'll have to figure it out somehow. Um, I'm sure I'm sure we'll manage it though. Um, so as I was slightly ahead, it wasn't yet weekend league day for me to play. This was the, this was like Thursday afternoon or something. Uh, so I decided that I would go into some rivals. It's a new season. We're down in Div Four, but of course we're playing against people that were in Division Two uh, at the end of the last season. So basically, right up there on on my uh, on my skill level. Um, give the squad a go. See if we're still feeling really good about FIFA and stuff. And uh, yeah, I can certainly tell you that you know it was an enjoyable session. This session right here. So this was Thursday night after a patch. Um, so whether or not a load of people just hadn't downloaded the patch yet or there was less people on the game or whatever, or maybe the patch did something, I don't know. The most buttery, silky, smooth gameplay I could have ever asked for. If FIFA felt like this all the time, it would be, oh, heaven to play. There was nothing that happened during this session that I thought to myself, you know what, play a switch and screw me there. Or, it's laggy, my passes aren't going where I want them to go, or it's taking ages to actually hit the pass and stuff. The only thing that I was messing up, I hit so many red time shots in this session, because I guess I, I normally sort of compensate for heavy servers or whatever, and these were so buttery smooth that I was hitting them like too early or too late. I can't really figure out what it was, but I was hitting lots of red times. Um, but it was, uh, yeah, a, a very enjoyable experience. Um, the game just felt good. And that's not often we can say that, really, is it? You know, I was still conceding goals. I didn't win all of my games and stuff in this session. So it's not like, you know, placebo of I had such a great session because I won all my games. It was just good. Like, this game was back and forth. I was conceding goals that I didn't think I, you know, I thought I'm, I, I should be able to defend these better. Um but I was still kind of smiling because it was just a... I knew that I kind of had a chance to get back into it each and every time. Um, <clears throat> so, I did get my penalty saved. That annoyed me. But we instantly scored the goal with Didier Drogba um, firing up on, on like the rebounds and stuff from that. And what a goal that is from uh, none other than Chabby Alonso. I love the man. Can't speak highly enough of him on this game. I actually think this card is... One of the best SBCs I've ever done. He's just a beast. And then five four up. Uh, I thought, how, why is he not? Why is he not blowing the whistle? It's, you know. And then I actually managed to go on the counter attack, score a worldie of a power shot with Didier Drogba, and life was all good. So uh, yeah, what a win that was. That was. Uh, 10 goal thriller um, and I get the last goal right at the end. I thought I thought for a moment the game was trying to screw me by playing on past the one minute of at a time to let my opponent have another shot. But it was me that went on the attack and got that extra cheesy goal. Um, so two in a row. I believe... Well, we'll see what happens. I think I lose this game heavily. Is this the game? Yeah, this is the game. I can see him. Ronaldinho. My, my next opponent had prime Ronaldinho and he owned him as well. So... Uh, Rather lucky uh, 88 plus icon pack, I'm guessing. Very nice. Um, I'll still take my Cruyff all day long, but, uh, you know, prime Ronaldinho wouldn't go amiss, would it? That, that's kind of lovely. Uh, and he just did me every single time. I couldn't quite get near him. Um, and that's fair enough. I, I literally lost to an opponent that was better than me. 3-0 as well. Uh, it was, it was uh, kind of tough, but you know what? Sometimes you look at the stats. 60-40 possession. He had double my shots and stuff. It was just, yeah, he was a better player. Um, into the next one then. I think I don't win this one either. We'll see. Oh, I can't quite remember. But Zidane took me 32 minutes to break the deadlock. And it is Zidane with the lovely finesse shot. This man is a beast. We love him so much around this club. Um, but yeah, half time. Couldn't tell where this one was going in terms of my opponent was holding the ball really, really well. Super patient player. Uh, he ends up scoring on the break like that. Um, poor goalkeeper movement from me. Just poor choices there. Uh, I can get over that. And then uh, quite quickly, he turned the game around. Um, or 
he kept pushing uh, and then eventually got the next goal to, to get 2-1 up. And I was kind of annoyed because, well, I thought this was going to be my game. I was 1-0 up. But then lovely dribbling and a beautiful finish there from, from Johan. Um, Johan, the man, gets me a two-all draw. So, yeah, not everything's going my way. <coughs> Excuse me. But still having a good time. I think you get that, though. I keep saying it, don't I? So I'll, uh, I'll stop now. But uh, into the next game then, I basically wanted to get up to three wins because I don't know how much, if any, time I'll have next week during the week to uh, to actually play rivals. So if I could just get three wins and then be done and then have my weekend league to play, you'll see that over the next couple of days worth of videos. Um, then at least we'll get some sort of rivals rewards on Thursday next week, even if they're not that great. Uh, the first couple of weeks of rivals. I'm never too fussed about because it is always up against the people that were in your highest part of the division at the last last season. I let them get ahead, get back up into Division 3 or Division 2, and then I play the people that come from the, the division below and push their way back up as well and then normally have an easy time of it, week two or three of rivals. Um, but yeah, 4-2 up in this one, I mean, before half time. Six goals in the first half, bit of a mad one. But we love that. Uh, second half then. He's going to push forward to get a goal here. Foden. Super fast actually. Really quick. Uh, that's one thing I noticed about Bremer. Something about him is just not that fast. He's got 83 sprint speed or 83 pace on his card. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know what the uh, acceleration and sprint speed difference is between him. But I've been finding myself struggling a touch. I, I might even go back to Cordoba. Because Cordoba I think would get me... Full chem on Quadrado. Might knock down Edison, though. Might knock down Edison's uh, from three to two. I'm not sure what it would do for chem, but uh, yeah, maybe maybe try Cordoba again. See if I get on with him. See if the height is a, a is an issue or not, because he was always very, very fast. But there's my three wins. <laughs> love to see it. Obviously, the start of a new season. This season, I hope you love, uh, I hope you love chemistry styles, because it's all about chem styles. Uh... I don't know what to say about this. I think it's tragic. Uh, the 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 the, the uh, stadium themes and all of that stuff. The, this whole season progress stuff. Um, I agree with one of my mates. I I would prefer it, right? If you bought like the ultimate edition of the game, or at the start of each season, a little bit like COD, you'd almost have to like pay for the season pass, and then it has like good stuff in it. So like good packs or players relating to the promos out during that time or, or 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 things like that rather than just like weird stadium rubbish that no one ever really uses because we've got so much of it um so yeah i'd prefer that because then maybe you know maybe the ultimate edition comes with the season pass every season and that's what i get you know for being an ultimate edition member rather than just a standard edition and stuff like that i don't know what do you guys think about it I just think it needs a re a big rehaul uh, or overhaul, should I say? Um, it's just not that great, is it? But uh, anyway, <coughs> to finish the episode, I'm about to unlock someone. Oh God, that cough kind of got the voice. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm about to unlock someone that I feel like we're going to be seeing a lot of in the next few weeks from everybody as a super sub, maybe as a starter. Um, but that man, Sirlot, Sorloth, however you like to pronounce his name, uh, the Norwegian, on this game, it's like the B-Tech Haaland, but I don't want to disrespect him and call him the B-Tech Haaland because he's he's doing his own thing in La Liga this year. Um, by the way, a random little Premier League premium upgrade and just got myself an 89 Casemiro. Fodder heaven, we love that. Um, but yeah, I... I just think that this is a really well-priced SBC for, you know, people of throughout team of the year and stuff. There's not been lower, lower tier stuff to put your fodder into. Um, so everyone's got 83s and 84s and some informs and stuff in their club. So I just think Alexander Serlot's SBC player of the month for La Liga uh, is a very good super sub option because he's got like 95 composure and he's lengthy and he's tall and he's just going to break the mold um, and tired defenders are going to struggle against him. Now, this is me saying this without actually trying him yet. 
but a couple of friends of mine have used him as super subs and said he's very good. Uh, and I just remember how good he was earlier in the year. This is a good card, which with a hunter on it, I think is like a 93 rated striker with really good pace and shooting. Obviously, if you bring him on as a sub, he doesn't get any affected stats from the chem style and stuff. But uh, what a beast for an 83 and an 84 rated squad. Worth it. I think, in my opinion, anyway. Uh, so, yeah, that's going to end the episode for today. I hope you've enjoyed. Do me a favor, ladies and gentlemen, and hit the thumbs up button. Can we get 2,000 or 3,000 likes on this video? That'd be amazing. Thank you. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. Cheers. And follow me on social media. Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. I've been posting reels and TikToks and whatnot lately. Come follow me. They're also on the channel as shorts. I've been posting them everywhere. Hope you've been enjoying them. A little bit of content aside from the road to glory. Let me know what you think. Have a good day, everyone. Take it easy. I'll be back again tomorrow. Peace.